Girl. Girl. Let me tell you, honey. Do you see that? Hey guys, so as you can see, I, um, oh, let me fix you guys. <laughs> I ordered from Sephora. I literally couldn't wait. Like, I literally could not wait. I just had to open it up off screen. But, my Sephora package. And in my Sephora package, I got this. I've been waiting to get it. The color has been sold out everywhere, even online at one point when I tried to order. So I was like, yeah, if it, I'm gonna just randomly one day try to purchase it. And if I can, great. If I can't, whatever. I'll just wait, but I know that I'm gonna get it. So I got this. So it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the color 420. I'm not sure how much of that you guys can see, but yeah. I also got the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. Yeah, because my skin is super oily. So I'm hoping that this helps decrease the oil after a couple of hours and then I also got the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo and the color is Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule Aww. cause you know your girl is super happy I'm super excited I know you guys probably couldn't see that but yeah I'm still learning how to use this whole autofocus camera but yes Honestly, I'm definitely going to try this foundation out tomorrow. Um, but I actually, like I need to just, I don't even know if this is my complexion. I just went out on a limb and purchased it. And the reason being is every time I go inside Sephora, okay? Every time a girl goes into Sephora, all of the darker shades are always sold out, like 400 and up are always sold out. This is such cute packaging, Riri. But I feel like it's so little bit. <laughs> like I honestly feel like it is so, so little bit. I'm trying to find a brush that I want to use because right now all of my brushes are not clean and you know what I cannot find my regular foundation brush this is so weird I wonder if Kaylee took it up and for those of you that are new to my channel if you don't know who Kaylee is that's my daughter um, she's two she loves makeup uh, obviously because her mom loves makeup so yeah grab my mirror do I want to put it on the back of my hand like you guys have no idea how excited I am let me just zoom in real quick show you guys all my flaws okay that's a little bit too close <laughs> so it doesn't look so bad on my skin I was really hoping more for uh, 430 because I felt like maybe 430 would have been a better match, but I'm not completely sure. Is this my match? Can you guys even tell that I have any of the foundation over here? I'm so ready to play in this uh, foundation right now. Like, you guys have no idea. Oh shoot, the thing came off. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Do you guys see this? I love the packaging with this. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Go or gorgeous. And I'm sure you guys have seen everybody's review before. Hmm. So I'm just checking myself out in the mirror with that foundation on. I guess 420 is uh, my match. Okay. Excited. I can't wait for you guys to see my tutorial tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up super early and just do what needs to be done. Good morning, lovies. Um, thank you so much for tuning back in to part two of this video. Um, as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows off camera. Um, now let's get into my eyes. Whip. Oh. <laughs> Tartlet in Bloom palette. Mm. I think I'm gonna do this one. This is Leader. So I think I'll do a bit of that one. Because I do like one of these two, the Activist or the Smoke Shadow. I think it might be a little bit too dark. Just going to do a little bit of color correcting. This is the LA Girl um, Pro Conceal. What is this? It's just orange, orange corrector. I'm going to do right. <laughs> So I'm back. Here is the final look. Very simple, very plain. I actually put on some lashes <laughs> to add to the look. At first I was debating, that's why I didn't put anything on first, not even mascara. But this is the look. I will definitely have... Um, the info of the products that I used in the description box down below um, if you guys want to see how I achieved my hairstyle there will be a link to that video in the description box um, and honestly I'm loving how the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter foundation went on I love so far that it's nice and matte I used the Urban Decay um, D Slick um, setting spray. It had a weird smell, um, but my face looks matte, so that's all that matters right now. I'm back. Um, what time is it? It's now 5 
33. It has been almost 12 hours since I've had on this. Sorry, let me get closer for you. Since I've had on the Fenty Beauty foundation. And so I'm just fixing the camera. And let me tell you, I'm super happy. Uh, sorry, let me zoom in. So, nose is shiny, forehead is shiny. But that's literally because it's like been 12 hours. So, this ish is bomb. Just taking my brush and let's see if that helps so that way I don't have to use blotting paper <laughs> or a napkin or anything. Back to basics. Back to basics. It looks good, huh? I know, right? It looks good. Mhm. Mm what are you saying? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so silly. But honestly, I think this um, Fenty Beauty. Pro Filter Foundation is going to be, I don't even know if I'm saying the name right. Hold up, let me see. Oh, I did. <laughs> Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Yo, this dish is bomb, yo. This right here boy is the ish yo like this is the sis shiz naive for shiz naive whatever <laughs> anyways um i don't even want to wipe this off like i'm ready to go to bed super early but i'm ready to go to bed wake up bam what do you guys think let me know leave a comment down below of your experience of Fenty Beauty um, and until next time bye you got that crack I'm feeling crazy crazy, crazy, more, more crazy. Of you. now a pimper knows what a pimper likes I'm taking